I got a great versus video for you today. It's between two very similar button locks. The Civivi Altus up on top and then down below is going to be the Kaiser Original. We're going to look at their similarities and their differences. We'll even compare the blade steels and that's all in an effort to try and figure out if you could only keep one of these knives, which would it be? On the screen are going to be the specs, their measurements. I just went ahead and took myself, but I'll also list them for you down in the description, along with like the links to buy and the coupon codes. Now, normally I wait till the end to talk about the prices, but you know, today I wanted to go ahead and do that first because, well, you know, for most of us anyway, that's pretty important. As of today's date, you know, the difference in price between the two is going to be about $12. The uh, Civivi Ultis here selling on Amazon for $72. And this Mojave Outdoor exclusive Kaiser Original is at 84. And you can either get this directly from Mojave's website or through their Amazon store. Now, to me, this price difference really does make sense since the, the scales are aluminum here on the original and that matte kind of finish, it really does give it a uh, kind of expensive feel to it in hand, the handles. After some further comparison of the two handles, I got to go ahead and give it to the Altus because I, I just like its handle a little bit more. It, uh, it has a, uh, it's a longer and thicker handle that I can fit all of my fingers on. And I wear about a medium sized glove. Now there's no, you know, there's no forward finger choil, which, you know, is just fine since my grip here is nice and close. Look at that. You can really grip it nice and close to that blade, and that's just going to give you some better control when you're, you know, when you're cutting. The handle design of the Kaiser, what it does, it kind of pushes your grip back farther away from the blade, which really starts to make it almost feel more like, like it's a, a three and a half finger grip. I mean, you can, you can go ahead and put your index finger over the top there and, and choke up. You know, I don't recommend doing that because it just, you're, you could easily slip forward. Both handles really do have, you know, some, a decent amount of traction, but the G10, again, is going to win in this category because it's just, it's got some texture to it and it's a slightly better grip, the pocket clips. Even though button locks, you know, are typically going to be right-handed knives since the button's only on one side, the, uh, the deep carry clip on the Altus though, it does show us lefties some love because it's got two positions. But then again, I, I kind of like this shorter clip on the original. I mean, it gives it a little bit more of a premium look and it is even, uh, it's recessed into the handle. But unfortunately, yeah, it's going to be just the one position, the action. All right, this one is going to be really tough because both knives seriously have just excellent, like out of box action. I mean, they were dropping shut right from the get go, but I have noticed that the, the Kaiser original here, it's a lot easier to do a controlled slow roll open. It's more difficult with the Altus because, and you know, I'm sure it has something to do with the, the detent because that blade keeps wanting to kind of jump out once I start pushing on that thumb stud. Since I'm left-handed, you know, I'm not able to, you know, I'm not able to see the button on button lock knives. So, you know, I have to like completely rely on touch to find it. You know, it's only on one side. The Kaiser is going to win here because it has, and you can see it for yourself. I mean, it just has a larger and like deeper cutout with a button that even sticks out a little bit farther than the Altus, which it just makes it so much more easier to locate it. The blades, you know, I'm a big fan of like classic drop point blade shapes like this one here on the original. However, the bead blasted Civivi blade is going to be a little bit thicker. It's also wider with more usable sharpened edge and it even has a little bit of jimping and you can see yep the kaiser clearly does not now th those are just all features that i look for you know when i'm shopping for a new knife how about the steel nitro v is going to be a it's a really good 
budget steel that is often compared to like 14C28N Sandvik. It's known for its excellent corrosion resistance and even its toughness. But even though it's considered to be, you know, like a harder steel, it's actually very easy to sharpen. And its edge retention is going to be, well, it's decent enough, you know, for like a budget steel, although it's, a, it's not as good as something like uh, S30B. 154 CM, though, is also a good budget steel that is primarily known for its excellent wear resistance and edge retention. You know, it, it's considered a harder steel that is also fairly easy to sharpen, but, you know, it's a stainless steel with decent enough corrosion resistance plus it's got the the blade coating here unfortunately i really i can't say which steel is better than the other because well you know they're they're both good and it really does just kind of depend on the type of performance you're looking for so if you want a blade with like excellent corrosion resistance and toughness then you should go ahead and just uh, get this altus in the nitro v if you want a blade with excellent edge retention and wear resistance then you know the kaiser original in this 154 cm is going to be the knife for you all right now it's your turn before i go ahead and show you my pick i would love to know which one do you like go ahead and let us know in the comments you know both knives are great and honestly you can't go wrong with either one but i promised you a decision and this was a tough choice if i could only keep one of these which would it be i gotta go with the civivi altus i just i like the blade steel nitro v good stuff. I like the longer handle. I like the two position pocket clip and of course the price because it's a little bit less. Now up on the screen, it's going to be a video that I personally picked out for you to go ahead and watch next. And hey, if you haven't already, consider subscribing if you're looking for knife reviews. They get right to the point. But hey, I got to run. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys and I'll see you at the next video. Take care.